In today's video, we'll talk about how to fix touchpad not working in Windows 10 fast. Myself, Mohamed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, open the settings of your system and then go to update and security because here make sure your system is up to date and there are no updates that are needed to be installed because the problem you are facing might be because of an update that is there to be installed after this make sure to restart your system and i'm sure your touchpad will start working if this doesn't work follow me for the second solution open your command prompt and run it as administrator. After that, here are some commands that you need to run in your command prompt. The first command is dism space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash check health. This command will check the health of your system. Let it run. At this point, I have no problem in my system. Again, I'll use the same command, but at the end of it, instead of checking the health, I'll scan the health of my system. So I'll just write here, scan health and hit enter. And here it is working and scanning the health of my system. After we are done with this one, we'll move ahead and we'll restore the health of our system if there are any problems. We are done with this one. Now I'll use the same command again, but instead of using scan health, I'll write here, restore health, hit enter. And it is working and we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done with this step as well and at the end we need to run one more command and that is sfc space slash scan now and just hit enter and we are good to go. After we are done with this step our problem will be solved. If it does not, do not worry, I have more solutions for you. Now open your device manager and look for mice and other pointing devices. Open it and make sure to update your driver from here. I'll just right click on it and I'll click on update driver. Search automatically and I have already installed the latest one. Do the same with the other one and your problem will be solved. If it doesn't work, open the website of your laptop's manufacturer. I'm using Dell laptop. So first of all, let me open my browser and in my browser, I'll look for dell.com. In your case, look for your manufacturer, then go to support and here I have drivers and downloads. I'll just click on it and from here, click on identify your product and write the name of your product. But Dell allows you a utility that detects your system on its own. As you can see, it says Latitude E7450. Just click on it and from here, it will show you all the drivers and downloads that need to be installed in your system. And here it says, let Dell automatically find driver updates for you. I'll just click on it and it will check on its own if there are any updates that are needed to be done or if there is any driver that we need to install. It will take a little bit of time, so we'll wait for it. And after we are done with this one, I'll simply install the updates and driver and I'm sure that I will not have that problem anymore. For the next solution, press Windows plus R key and look for Reg Edit or R-E-G-E-D-I-T and hit enter. From here, open H key local machine. After that, look for software. After the software, look for Microsoft. Here it is. Just go into this one or you can click on it as well. After this one, look for Windows. I'll just press W and I'll look for Windows, here it is. Now go into that option and then go to your current version, here it is. After that, go to the policy, so I'll just press P and after the policy, look for system, here it is. And in the system, here we have an option that says enable cursor suppression. Double click on it and make sure you have value as one. In your case, if it is zero, just remove it and type 1 and click on OK and you are good to go. Now, for the final solution of this video, open the settings of your system. I'll just do that. And after that, look for devices. Here it is. From here, go to your touchpad 
and here you will see an option to enable your touchpad. If it doesn't show you this option, again press your Windows key and right here, touchpad and hit enter. It will open the utility in front of you. As you can see, in my case, it is from the Dell. And here you can see at the moment, my touchpad is on and it is working. If it is turned off, just click on this button or in your case, whatever the option is, just make it turn on and save the settings and now your touchpad will start working. So these were some of the fixes or you can say solutions that you can apply onto your Windows 10 in order to make your touchpad working. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. If you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.